Welcome to A Royal Legacies, A Journey Through British Monarchy. From the medieval conquests to the modern reigns, join us as we unravel the intricate tapestry of the British royal family's history, filled with triumphs, tragedies, and timeless traditions. In 1066, William the Conqueror, Duke of Normandy, decisively defeated King Harold II of England at the Battle of Hastings. This pivotal event marked the beginning of Norman rule in England and the end of the Anglo-Saxon era. William, crowned King of England on Christmas Day of the same year, initiated a profound transformation of English society and governance. To solidify his control over the newly conquered realm, William commissioned the Doomsday Book in 1086. This comprehensive survey meticulously recorded the landholdings, resources, and population of England, providing a detailed snapshot of the kingdom's socioeconomic landscape. The Doomsday Book served not only as a tool for efficient taxation and administration but also as a lasting historical record, offering invaluable insights into medieval society and land tenure. The Magna Carta, signed by King John at Runnymede in 1215, stands as a landmark document in the evolution of constitutional law. Faced with mounting pressure from discontented barons, King John reluctantly affixed his seal to the Magna Carta granting certain rights and liberties to the nobility and establishing principles of due process and the rule of law. While initially intended to address specific grievances of the feudal aristocracy, the Magna Carta laid the groundwork for the development of constitutional monarchy in England, setting precedents for limited royal authority and the protection of individual freedoms. These pivotal events, from the Norman conquest to the signing of the Magna Carta, shaped the trajectory of English history and laid the foundation for the emergence of the British royal monarchy as we know it today. They represent key milestones in the ongoing struggle for power, governance, and the rule of law in medieval England. The Tudor era, spanning from the late 15th to the early 17th century, was a period of profound transformation and cultural resurgence under monarchs such as Henry VIII and Elizabeth I. This dynamic epoch left an indelible mark on English history and laid the groundwork for the nation's emergence as a global power. Henry VIII, the second Tudor monarch, ascended the throne in 1509, heralding a new era of royal authority and ambition. His reign was characterized by a series of significant political, religious, and social changes. Most notably, Henry's break with the Roman Catholic Church in the 16th century precipitated the English Reformation, a seismic shift that altered the religious landscape of England forever. The Act of Supremacy of 1534 declared the king as the supreme head of the Church of England, effectively severing ties with Rome and establishing a national church independent of papal authority. The reign of Henry VIII's daughter, Elizabeth I, is often regarded as the pinnacle of the Tudor dynasty. Elizabethan England experienced a flourishing of arts, literature, and exploration, earning it a reputation as a cultural and economic powerhouse. The defeat of the Spanish Armada in 1588, a watershed moment in English history, solidified England's status as a maritime superpower and secured its dominance in European affairs. The Elizabethan era is also celebrated as a golden age of English literature, with luminaries such as William Shakespeare, Christopher Marlowe, and Edmund Spencer producing some of their most enduring works. The era's cultural vibrancy and intellectual ferment continue to captivate scholars and enthusiasts alike, leaving an enduring legacy that endures to this day. The 18th and 19th centuries heralded the rise of the British Empire, a period marked by unprecedented expansion across continents and significant shaping of global history under monarchs like Queen Victoria. The empire's reach extended across the globe, with British influence touching numerous regions and cultures. Queen Victoria's reign, from 1837 to 1901, was a pivotal era in British history that saw the expansion of the empire to its zenith. This period was fueled by industrialization, trade, and colonial ventures. Victoria's leadership during this time contributed to the establishment of a global network of trade and communication, making Britain a dominant world power. The Diamond Jubilee of Queen Victoria in 1897 celebrated her 60-year reign and showcased the empire's power and influence. The grand celebrations included parades, festivities, and banquets held worldwide. Queen Victoria's jubilee symbolized the unity and strength of the British Empire, demonstrating its vast reach and the loyalty of its subjects across the globe. The 20th century brought unprecedented challenges to the monarchy, beginning with the turmoil of World War I. 
The impact of the war on Britain and its royal family was profound, with members of the royal family serving in the conflict and supporting war efforts on the home front. In 1936, King Edward VIII's abdication crisis shook the monarchy. Edward's decision to abdicate in favor of marrying Wallace Simpson, an American divorcee, caused a constitutional crisis. His abdication was a pivotal moment for the royal family, leading to the ascension of his younger brother. King George VI, thrust into the spotlight after his brother's abdication, led the nation through the trials of World War II. His calm and steady presence, especially during his wartime radio broadcasts, embodied resilience and unity. He was widely respected for his leadership during one of the most challenging periods in modern history. Queen Elizabeth II, crowned in 1953, has reigned through periods of social upheaval and technological advancement. Her long and dedicated reign has seen the monarchy adapt to a rapidly changing world, while she remains a symbol of stability and continuity. Queen Elizabeth II's commitment to her role has earned her respect both in Britain and around the world. Today, the British royal family continues to evolve, adapting to changing times while upholding centuries-old traditions and values. Despite the challenges of the modern world, the monarchy remains a central institution in British society, symbolizing continuity and national identity. The younger generation of royals, including Prince William and Prince Harry, have embraced philanthropy and advocacy as part of their royal duties. They have used their platform to raise awareness and address pressing issues such as mental health, conservation, and veterans' welfare. Through their charitable endeavors, they have sought to modernize the monarchy and connect with a younger audience, ensuring its relevance in the 21st century. As we conclude our journey through royal legacies, we are reminded that the story of the British royal monarchy is not just a chronicle of kings and queens but a reflection of the nation's resilience, adaptability, and enduring spirit.